Hello, I'm Steve. Welcome to the Patio Heat Channel, where we provide visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for outdoor comfort. Send your request into designs at patioheat.com for your personalized recommendations. Our one-on-one -on -one customer support helps you make the best decisions for your applications. We strive to earn your business. Visit our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Now let's get heating. All right, so this is going to be a, a conceptual uh, plan for this particular application. And so you can see here we have some seating areas over here, and then we have a dining space over here. Um, let's go ahead and go right into the overall dimensions, first of all. So overall dimensions I have here at 22 feet 11, so we'll call it 23 feet by um, 23 feet 5 inches to this edge over here. Uh, you can see that um, the floor plan I received, and I pretty much matched that up. So um, we'll go ahead and turn that off and look at the elevation of this uh, overhang here, which is nine feet off the finished floor. And then I think it's about two and a half feet roughly to uh, the depth here. So I think that's pretty much about it. And let's go ahead and turn that off and then look at some of the uh, options that we might have. Um, so first of all the plan showed that they were um, intending on pla placing uh, four infrared heaters in the ceiling here which is okay. Um, the only major uh, concern that I have is that you're meeting the clearances to combustibles and um, clearances to combustibles would be from this edge of the heater to any combustible uh, edge over here of 18 inches. So it needs to be 18 inches from this point to any combustible surface. And if these doors open and swing out, that could be a potential uh, issue for that. But I th believe the are, they are doors that slide left and right. So, um, but these are the uh, Infratech heaters. I recommend the Infratech heaters because they're number one made here in the United States from a company that's been in business for well over 50 years and they make very nice product. Um, and that's one of my uh, preferred uh, applications or preferred uh, product lines. Um, and so in any case, let's go ahead and look at the footprint of heat. And the footprint of heat you can see here with the seating um, placed kind of not completely underneath the uh, overhang here, we're not getting 100% of coverage here. Um, so that's one of my uh, you know, first concerns. And um, I would probably want something a little bit different. So this is going to be some of my recommendations or suggestions, and um, we'll see if this works for them. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the ray, and then I'm going to add in a couple of other uh, Infratech heaters. These are, um, and by the way, those are flush mount uh, 4,000 watt units, and these are um, CD 6024, 6,000 watt, 240 volts. And let's go ahead and look at the um, footprint of heat, and let's go ahead and turn that on. And you can see here, with the uh, wall mounted units at 30 degree angles, um, so straight down 30 degrees up, um, you're getting a fairly okay coverage and it's also you know penetrating this seating positions over here as well. So this would work out pretty good um, except for the fact that you know the ray itself is not a hundred percent for you know any space that's right along here. So um, this is Maybe, maybe not something that's uh, ideal. Um, I think it looks great, you know, as far as the appearance is concerned. Uh, you don't see, you know, the rays themselves, but uh, the heaters themselves would be like that. Um, and I didn't put the windows on either side here, um, so I'm not 100% certain of where those windows were. But um, another thing you could do is you could add an additional two units. Now, adding an additional two units might be too much for the space, um, but let's just go ahead and place that roughly, you know, 10 feet maybe. Um, and this is where I'm kind of having a little uh, issue with the fact that, you know, is it going to overhang this edge over here? You know, if we pushed it over just a couple of inches more, so that we're not overhanging that uh, edge there. But um, now you can see the footprint of heat has changed 
and um, it's a much more uniform amount of heat for this space. Uh, you could change the angle slightly so that you know we're not really penetrating so much over here that the ray itself is uh, penetrating more in that area. Let, let's go ahead and just change that maybe by about 10 degrees and um, we'll go like about that and now you can see that the uh, ray is overlapping a little bit better so this you know even though that this is the ideal amount of heat um, that comes off of the heater you know approximately 10 feet out um, you do have the overlapping rays so you know this would be a warm spot for you know the position itself now most people can only feel about um, if you had it on a wall mount here about eight feet out from the center so you know looking at the center of this patio let's go here to here you can see that you know we're roughly 11 feet um, so that overlapping ray would be very important if you were sitting out over here all right so that is the um, the CD series and let's go ahead and turn that off right now and then look at another possibility which would be going with a sun glow um, mounted unit in the ground and um, these are 50,000 BTUs a piece and um, they put out about a seven and a half foot uh, radius out um, so the um, you know, whole diameter is about 14 feet. And you, what you really want is you want something about, you know, from center to center, about 10 foot center to center. And I think these are a little bit further away from that, but uh, you get very nice overlapping rays and this whole space would be heated just wonderfully. Now, um, the seating position over here is still, you know, potentially not ideal. So let's go ahead and move these over maybe about a foot and a half and um, you can see now the ray is still you know crossover rays over here which you probably don't really need so we could even move them a little bit further to the you know dining table over here but um, you can see that the ray is uh, very well penetrating the whole entire space here so um, the other thing I want to mention about these is that um, Let's go ahead and look at something else over here real quick. Um, this is the Sunglow heater here. This is a PSA 265 model, 50,000 BTU natural gas unit. And then this is here is the underground vault box. And the underground vault box um, is something where this would be flush to the finished floor surface. And then um, you would... Uh, just place the heater itself so you could take this post and slide it down into the receiving section of the post it, it lands on this uh, uh, little bar coming out here and then um, you can tighten up this bolt if you wanted to and um, that would maintain the heater itself in position and then also you can see here there's a hole for the gas line to you know come up from you know below grade into the vault box and you put a quick connect um, hose onto this uh, pipe here or post here and that would be in a, a quick connect fitting inside of the uh, vault box itself um, looking at some other things here you would put uh, below the vault box you would put some gravel to allow for uh, you know water seepage and then of course you know compact earth soil around the uh, vault box itself with the concrete finish floor and I know they have some sort of uh, uh, you know finished tile type of uh, top here um, so and that also could be added to the uh, door or there's a panel that fits on top of here it actually you could flip it upside down and then place you know a rock or you know tile work on top of that so the only thing you'd actually physically see is this portion here when this uh, heater is removed and then there is a cap that goes over this um, I'll call it a keyhole type of uh, opening here so but in any case that would be the um, sunglow with the combination of the Infratech back here 
and that would be a very very nice application in my opinion so that would be my ideal um, recommendation for this position and uh, hopefully this helps you out all right well uh, if this has helped you please uh, tap that like button and I thank you very much for watching have an excellent day